My story begins in a little cypress town called Corion. I was born into slavery many years ago. My master was a rich landowner. When I was older, my master learned about a man named Jesus, who came to set the captives free. And he freed me! So I asked him to teach me more about this man named Jesus. He showed me a letter that a man named Luke had written about Jesus. In the first chapter of Luke's letter, there is a section that says this. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Luke chapter 2 tells us about the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, this town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. This baby, Jesus, grew up as a carpenter, made friends with fishermen, a doctor, a tax collector, and other common people. He did no wrong. He was perfect, the only perfect human to ever live. He became the Savior of the world. A man named Paul came to Cyprus years ago. He taught my master about Jesus, and my master taught me. Now it is my turn to teach others. It is the greatest story ever told. Jesus Christ was born to a virgin. Angels heralded his birth. Wise men brought him rich gifts. He was a friend to the friendless. He was a father to the fatherless. He was a healer to the sick. He came to set the captives free. He came for you and me. Jesus is the light of the world. He laid down his life for our sins and rose from the dead after three days. He is alive even now. We need only to believe in Him, and our sins will be forgiven. He paid the death penalty for us. Jesus conquered death so that we can have life, and have life with Him more abundantly. Come to Cyprus, a beautiful island in the glorious Roman Empire. Walk the streets of Corion, where the Apostle Paul taught about Jesus. Learn a trade like carpentry or fishing or become a disciple of Jesus like me.